Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. We come to the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time. I'd like to look at the second reading for today. St. Paul is in prison. He's writing to the Christians in Philippi. And he gives one of the most beautiful scripture passages that touch my heart. So let's look at part of his words. He says, Have in you the same attitude that is in Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about. We want to try to let Christ's attitude take over my attitude so that it is no longer me living but Christ living in me, as St. Paul would say. And then St. Paul says, Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped at. So this is what God's heart and God's life is like. He's not grasping and holding and hoarding. He's giving and offering everything. And by the way, who in the Bible was the first one to try to grasp equality with God? We think of Adam and Eve grasping that apple at our original sin. Jesus' attitude reverses that. Um, it forgives it, if you will. So Jesus does not regard equality with God something to be grasped, Rather, he empties himself. This is the heart of God, a love which empties itself, pours itself out for you and for me. To stand in front of that kind of a God is a gift, and we get to do that at every Mass we celebrate. Taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself. So Jesus took on our humanity. He came into us in order to find us and to save us. That's a great act of love. Again, emptying himself into us and into our life. God does not lord it over us. God comes, and in a, in a sense, God becomes our slave, if you will. God becomes our servant. So God lowers himself as low as you can go, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. The cross is a religious symbol, right? It's not just decoration. The cross was state-sponsored terrorism. This is capital punishment. So the cross is an instrument of danger and of death, and Jesus willingly takes that on for us. This is how low God will go for us. He goes all the way down, and even after he dies, he goes down to hell to knock down the door to bring back all of our ancestors, if you will. So the nature of God is to empty himself, pour himself out in love, and then to go down as low as he can go. And that's important. So when you feel like you've gone down low, when we feel like our life is at an end somehow, Christ has already been there, and he knows the way out, so we hold on to him. Lastly, today's gospel is in the 21st chapter of Matthew. Towards the end, the context is Holy Week. Jesus has entered Jerusalem. He has thrown over the money changers' tables. And then he gives this kind of last parable, if you will. A father has two sons, and he asks them to go into the vineyard. One says no and later goes. The other says yes, and then he does not go. And Jesus asked, which one of these did the father's will? We know, of course, the one that said no but then did go did the will. That's important. So our faith demands a response from us. And that response is going to be important. When the Father asks us to do something, do you follow his will or not? What is he asking you to do this week? Do you have the courage to go out and do it? Have a blessed week.